Here we have pagination on this page that we implemented in episode 9, but we would like to add endless scrolling pagination on this page. It means as we scroll down to the end of the page, it loads the next page. We will use HTMX to achieve endless scrolling pagination. We discussed HTMX in episode 28. I recommend you go through the episode if you are not familiar with HTMX. Let's go to the docs. We will first add HTMX to our application's head tag. Let's copy this. In the application, we have a common head that is defined in the header template. Paste the HTMX tag here. Let's see how the application works. We start from the main file. Here is the API that we are going to modify. This is the API group blogs. We will make changes to this API. This is the handler. Let's go to this handler. Here we pass the context to this model function. In this function we do the DB query to retrieve blogs in a paginated way using scope. This is the scope. We implemented it in episode 9. Here we retrieve the page number. Next is the page size. Then we chain attributes to the query and set a few variables in the context. Let's go back to the model function. This print seems pointless. Let's remove it. Let's get back to the handler. We use this template to render the blogs in a paginated way. This script is used to put pages on the top of the page, including the previous and next page. We don't need it for the endless scrolling page. Let's remove it. This div lists the page. We don't need this either. This block presents the list of blogs to the user. We will be using HTMX to append the next page. We will be appending this block, the list of blogs to the page. Let's move this block to a separate view. We will call it blogs list. Let's replace this block with the template. Now we need a HX trigger that gets triggered when an HTML element shows up on the page. On this trigger, we want to fetch the next page and then add elements to the end of the page. This trigger event, revealed, serves our purpose. In the blogs list template, we will add a div element. When this element scrolls into the viewport, we will call the next page API and append the response to this page. HX trigger would be revealed.
Next, hx target would be this element itself. So it would be this. We will call HTTP get API. So we set hx get to blogs API. We pass the page parameter. This should be the next page number. Let's close the tag. The handler does not pass next page variable. In the handler, let's add this variable. This would be the current page plus one. The HTMX request also triggers this handler. We need to use the blogs list template for HTMX requests, but we will keep it this way for now. In the template, we would like to add the next page at the end of the current view. So let's set HX swap to after end. For more swapping options, refer to the documentation. Different options are specified here. Let us try this out. We need to log in. Here is the blogs page. Let's go to the end. The next page loads but with the header. It should only render the list of blogs. This is because the regular API and HTMX API are both handled the same way. We will read HTMX header and respond with the appropriate template. Let's check the headers in the documentation. For all HTMX requests, this header is set to true. Let's read this header in the handler. If this header is present, it means this is an HTMX request. In this case, we will render the blogs list template. Else this is a regular request, we will render using the blog's index template. The variables passed to these templates are the same in both cases. Let's move this out to a variable. Let's restart the server. Now it loads the next page, and so on. Let's inspect. Refresh the page. Continue scrolling. We can see the next page is requested when we reach the end of the page. We have only four pages worth of data. After the fourth page, it keeps calling the next page. This is a problem. Let's fix this.
in the handler when a page is requested, we always send the next page in the response. This renders the blogs list template with no content, so the HTMX div element shows up immediately and calls this API. This variable contains the blogs in the page. If there are no blogs on the page, we will not render the page. It will break the loop. Let us try now. Let's keep scrolling. Here the request stops at page 5. As we wrap up, remember that this approach can be adapted to various types of web content. The flexibility and responsiveness of HTMX make it an excellent choice for modern web applications aiming for a smoother, more interactive user interface. Thank you for joining us. If you have questions or need further clarification on any steps, don't hesitate to reach out or revisit our previous episodes for a refresher. Keep coding, keep improving, and see you in our next episode where we will explore another exciting web development topic.